Okay, hello and welcome back. This is another midweek special. Um, human beings, basically, they set themselves apart from uh, the animal kingdom because we, uh, we've we had the ability to make tools and then manipulate materials around us. As you can see here, Neil, he's manipulating some steel. Now, generally, I uh, use tools because I have to, to earn money. And some of this stuff actually costs a lot of money. But in the long run, it pays for itself as uh, each hour I work, I uh, budget for the uh, tools that I have. Now, I do spend a lot of time looking at tools, working out the ones that are best for the jobs. However, some of the equipment that we do have that's supplied by a workshop is far too expensive for my pocket to afford. So we just have to accept that workshops have specialist tools. Now, there are sometimes ways of getting around certain jobs, and sometimes they're not. I mean, you can design a puller or a quick makeshift puller to try and pull something off. doesn't always work. Um, Land Rover, you can have a look at their specialist service tools. Now, they're not made there just to, uh, just to be pretty. They actually have a functionality, and every workshop should have a tool board with these tools on it for the vehicles they are servicing. I'm talking about franchise dealerships here, uh, which have to buy the tools to do the jobs. They have to use them. Now, we're DIY people. We don't have those sort of facilities. So we have to go out and buy certain specialist tools to do jobs. There's no denying it. There's sometimes you just cannot get away with not having a specialist tool. There's plenty of designs about. There's plenty of clever people about that are designing tools all the time, putting them out on the market. Specifically, these ones I bought off eBay. These ones are from Forby, and I'll explain about them in a little while. This is the purpose of this video. Um, but basically, these tools, they're needed, and you really can't get around them if you're maintaining your vehicle properly. You've seen quite a few of these tools in videos already. I don't need to explain them. However, um, these ones here, you probably haven't seen in videos. These are... Uh, real McCoy specialist tools that are made um, for Land Rover or in one case it was actually the Rover group and um, these are to uh, do the jobs specified by the workshop uh, manual. This one here specifically is a pump retaining tool and the timing um, pin for the 19J engine for instance. Now I did show you in a video that Forby have um, brought out some tools, they're designing tools Okay, now these are fantastic. Uh, the concept is not new. However, um, I'll explain that Neil is uh, he's invested a little bit of time and some money into start to bring out tools for uh, for us, basically the ones that are too expensive to buy, even from Dingcrofts, for instance. These jobs uh, that we need to do sometimes we do need a tool to do it with, and it will save you time making something up, especially if you haven't got an imagination like myself. Right, so um, on the Forby site, they do a lot of tools, and they've also got the LRTV toolbox tools. But I'll just show you some of the tools that they have in their um, selection. If you haven't browsed the website yet, you've seen the 200-300 TDI injection pump sockets, um, spray guns, transfer box stake nut socket, uh, wire strippers, uh, torque wrenches, digital torque wrenches, five-piece uh, slide hammer, etc 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 the 300 tdi uh, timing pin kit um, brake pad spreaders and then on and on so basically these tools are well they're, they're general purpose tools you can buy anywhere um, but for we do them they've selected them for uh, because they're land rover owners and as you can see here it's, it's just basically he has got so much there and the ball joint service kit if you remember that we used that a little while back um, so there's a lot of garage products as well. Absolutely fantastic. Forby's stuff is is good quality for the do-it-yourselfer. If you're professional, you, you probably buy some of this stuff as well. So the LRTV toolbox um, page dedicated to us is a, at the moment. There's three tools on here. You can go in and have a look. So basically, uh, with tool design, and this is not to copy stuff. It takes a bit of R&D, which is research and development and uh, then on to the final product. And basically, Neil's uh, got a 3D printer and CAD CAM to, to work this stuff out. And Mr. Lambert thinks that it's probably not for Land Rovers, but for something else. 
The uh, diff backlash adjusting tools took him a little bit of a while to work out. I 3D printed the uh, material before he got the final product, which is actually, it works. Now again, R&D, first of all, is just cobbling up something that's, uh, that can work, get the ideas, and then work behind it. This is something that Neil's actually working on at the moment. You'll probably guess that it's uh, a puller for the, uh, for the boss that goes on to the uh, 300 TDI and the TD, uh, TD5 uh, Discovery 2 rear axle to get this, uh, this boss out, because it is a bit awkward to get out. The uh, tools, first of all, worked out and then designed on the uh, CAD CAM and then 3D printed. And this one's still in development, but we should hope to see this, hopefully, on the store soon. Other developments obviously take some time and uh, we're now talking between us two what other tools that are needed for Land Rover owners. Now uh, this one here is designed to push those crappy little wiper seals in easily so they don't damage on when you do your caliper overhauls. And I'm pretty sure quite a few guys would uh, want a tool like this that's uh, a reasonable price. So what I suggest is you uh, bookmark this LRTV toolbox page on the uh, Forby website and check back every now and then to see what's there and just remember that every time that you buy something from a little businessman he actually does a, a little happy dance. What I'll also say and this is up for suggestion now for comments below this video is if you have ideas for tools for doing jobs on Land Rovers that you know is uh, going to help you and other people, then please suggest it and uh, see what Neil comes up with. I'll be covering these tools in uh, later tutorials, and they will be coming up pretty shortly. So, uh, you know, this is a good quality for money, and they're made, designed and made in Britain. That makes a big difference.